The Herd, wherever you may be and however you may be listening. iHeartRadio, Fox Sports Radio, FS1, Holly Saunders joining me. We've had a lively show today, news broken during the show. During the show. I've been trying to figure out over here why anesthesiologists make so much money. I've been researching, but I did come up with this. Bingo managers make 61 grand a year. Median income, bingo managers. Bingo managers. Elevator inspectors, 63 grand a year. Wow. <laughs> Who knew? Useless information. <laughs> Nothing on the anesthesiologist. <laughs> By the way, uh, Robert Klemko, Monday Morning Quarterback, a reporter columnist, in 30 minutes. We're going to hear from Baker Mayfield in about 10 minutes. Joel Klatt just interviewed him. So we got that story. Also, Honey Badger, Arizona let him go. The Giants are interested. I'm telling you, Dallas, go get him. Dallas, go get him. You need a safety. You need an instinctive playmaker on the back end of your defense. So those are stories today. Very fluid. But i got to start with this. Aaron Rodgers lost Jordy Nelson yesterday. Oh, there was great sympathy. Here we go again. Green Bay won't sign his buddy, Jordy Nelson. Best friend, loyal, back shoulder, white lightning, Jordy Nelson's gone. And Tom Brady lost Dion Lewis and Nate Solder and Malcolm Butler and Danny Amendola. No sympathy for Tom because Tom never complains and Tom deals with this constantly. We've got this sympathy for Aaron Rodgers. Here's who Tom Brady has lost just offensively, just in the last eight years. His career spans double that. Randy Moss, Martellus Bennett, Logan Mankins, Deion Branch, Danny Woodhead, Deion Lewis, Wes Welker, Danny Amendola, LeGarrette Blunt twice, Nate Solder. That's just on offense. Vince Wilfork, Chandler Jones, Darrell Rivas, Patrick Chung for a year, Akib Talib, Brandon Browner, Jamie Collins. We never talk about that. Colin, you know why we don't talk about that. Because he's got Bill Belichick. You do realize last eight years, Mike McCarthy's got the second best winning percentage of all the coaches. That's because Brady plays in an easy division. Oh, really? The Detroit Lions and Chicago Bears, those are a couple of juggernauts. And by the way, the Vikings are good now, but they don't exactly have a legacy of clutch, if you know what I mean. Well, Colin, you're just making excuses now. I mean, Brady's had way better defenses. Let's go to the last eight years. New England's allowed the third fewest points. Green Bay's allowed the ninth fewest points. Brady loses multiple stars regularly. That's why he's the greatest of all time. Remember what Aaron Rodgers did when he lost his quarterback coach? Just a quarterback coach. Just a quarterback coach. He went and called out Green Bay publicly. Remember this? Well, my quarterback coach yeah. didn't get retained. I thought that was uh, an interesting change, uh, really without consulting me. There's a close uh, connection between quarterback and quarterback coach, and uh, that was an interesting decision. Calls him out publicly. By the way, Tom Brady has lost offensive coordinator Charlie Wise. Crickets. Bill O'Brien. Crickets. Josh McDaniels once. Crickets. Aaron lost a quarterback coach, called out his team publicly. I like Jordy Nelson. He may land in New England. He's a nice player. I like him. He had 53 catches last year, and that's with Aaron missing nine games. Probably has 80 catches, 70 catches without him. Had six touchdowns, all with Aaron Rodgers. I like Jordy Nelson. But Aaron Rodgers did not lose his best running back, the star of the AFC Championship, a star Super Bowl hero, a cornerback, and a left tackle who's probably the third best left tackle in football. All gonzo. Once again, Brady loses stars. No complaints. No complaints. Tom is better than Aaron Rodgers on the field, and he's also better off the field handling change. If you want to talk about losses, it's not even close from coordinators to stars to defensive players, to offensive players, to left tackles. Aaron Rodgers hasn't lost a third of what Tom Brady has, and Brady's been to seven times more Super Bowls. Uh, so we start with that. I, I Here's something else that I, um, this is really amazing. 
listen, there's some really good teams in the NFL, and there's some okay teams. There's not a lot of desperate teams in the NFL. But in the NFL, if you don't have a quarterback, and especially if your division has a bunch of good quarterbacks, you're you're in you're in trouble. Yesterday, the Arizona Cardinals paid Sam Bradford, who has a degenerative knee issue. Translation, it's bad and getting worse. They paid him $20 million for a year. That's panic mode. I asked the head coach and the GM of Arizona in the last few months why they didn't go after Jimmy Garoppolo, who now they have to play twice a year in their own division, I asked Bruce Arians, do you guys go after him? We had never talked about it. Now, Steve might have had some discussions with Nick, and uh, so, but it never came up. Um, we would have discussed it had we, but, uh, you know, he's in the right fit for him right now. And so much of it is the right fit. The way San Francisco finished those last games, Kyle and Jim and, and Johnny Lynch have done a great job. Okay, and I asked Steve Kime, the GM of Arizona, did you guys go after Jimmy Garoppolo, who you now play twice a year for the next decade? Number one, I'm, you know, it takes two sides to trade. And number two, you know, there, there's, um, there are things that go on with the rosters, you know, that head coaches aren't um, involved with on a daily basis. And number one, that's from a financial perspective over the next three years, which I try to, to do a three-year view. And that's really, again, the numbers that we're paying a quarterback and, and any position, really how we're allocating our money. So there were factors that were involved in it. Uh, I did look at Jimmy Garoppolo. There's no doubt he has some talent. Um, the body of work was, as we know, limited. Uh, but it looks like they made a great decision out there. Arizona's in real danger of becoming an old mobster disappearing in the desert. <laughs> okay, I want you to look at the top 12 draft picks. Arizona's got the 15th. Cleveland is taking a quarterback. The Giants, Indy, and Cleveland's second pick, they will not take a quarterback. Denver has Case Keenum, but may take another. The Jets at six absolutely will. Then the Bucks, Bears, Niners, and Raiders will not. The Dolphins have Tannehill off an injury. That's a strong maybe. And the Bills have moved up to 12. That's a yes. Okay, you can do the math yourself. We have three yeses and two strong maybes. And there's what? Four quarterbacks the NFL scouts like. Um, Arizona's in trouble. They're in a division with Jared Goff twice a year, coached by Sean McVay. Jimmy Garoppolo twice a year, coached by Kyle Shanahan, and Russell Wilson twice a year. Right now, they've got Sam Bradford with a degenerative knee issue. I don't run Arizona. If I did, and I am dead serious, I would give up every single pick I have to get to that five spot or better. I would give up every pick in this draft, every pick. Or they're going to become an old mobster. They are going to disappear in the desert, and we're never going to hear from them again. Arizona, you need to get on it. You know, the NFL is interesting. We've had a couple years where the college has given us really good quarterbacks, Deshaun Watson. Uh, Jared Goff, Carson Wentz. We've been on a little bit of a roll here. We had some dry spells. We had some years where we, we had three, four busts in the first round. Now, we've had a couple of good years. I think this is a good year. I think we're nitpicking Darnold and nitpicking Rosen. And I'm not a Baker Mayfield, but he'll succeed. I mean, he's not going to be a total absolute bust. I just don't want to build my franchise around his personality. I also think Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen will make rosters. Now, I think those guys, without question, I wouldn't play them for a year. You could play Darnold, Rosen, and Baker right now in the NFL, and they could win you games. Uh, uh, Josh Allen is not ready to play right now, and, and Lamar Jackson's not ready to play right now. Their success rate plummets the sooner they have to play. But I think all five of these guys, I'm, I'm not exactly sure Lamar is not big, not thick, not trunky. I worry about his durability unless he inherits a really good O-line. Josh is just not overly accurate, but again, can he work on it? 
Lamar's athletic ability, Josh's arm, those are draftable quarterbacks. Now, they're developmental prospects. For me, two years on the bench. But we got five guys here, I think, who could potentially play, and three could play right now. We've had a lot of years where you're crossing your fingers that one can make it. Uh, so Arizona, and next year is not supposed to be a great year. There's not a lot of quarterbacks next year in this draft. You'll hear from Baker Mayfield next, and we'll go uh, to Robert Klemko, very respected NFL reporter, live. The West Coast offense on football, sabermetrics in baseball, three-point shooting teams in basketball, innovation in sports has always given people an edge. Get on it. Don't be late. Evolve. It's why coaches, GMs, on the lookout for new ways to get the job done, faster, smarter, leaner, better. Well, same goes for hiring. Nobody knows the importance of innovation more than ZipRecruiter, cutting edge of candidate matching technology, technology that learns what you're looking for first, and secondly, identifies people with the right experience, and invites them to apply for the job, and then one click by you sends your job post over 100 of the web's leading job boards. Zip Recruiter scouts talent for you. Need a stat to back it up? 80% of employers who post a gig on Zip Recruiter get a candidate, a quality candidate, in a day. It's the next generation of matching technology. It is here, baby, and that's what makes Zip Recruiter lean as strong, as fast, as smartest way to hire. Right now, my listeners get it for free. Go on to it for free. Post a job for free. ZipRecruiter.com slash H-E-R-D, ZipRecruiter.com slash herd.